RA7920. RA7920, an act of providing for the more responsive and comprehensive regulation for the practice, licensing, and registrations of electrical engineering and electricians. Article 1, Titles and Definition of Terms, Section 1, Title, this act shall be known as New Electrical Engineering Law. Section 2, Definitions of Term, as used in act for the following terms, shall mean practice of electrical engineering, a person is deemed to be in the practice of electrical engineering when the renders of offers to render professional electrical engineering service in the forms of consultation, investigation, evaluation, and management of service requiring electrical engineering knowledge. Number two, design and preparations of plans, specification, and estimates for electric power system, power plants, power distribution system, including power transformers, transmission lines, and network protection, switchgear, building, wiring, electrical machine equipment, and others. So, provisions of erection, installation, testing, and commissioning of power plants, substation, transmission lines, industrial plants, and others. Number four, so provisions of operations of maintenance of electrical equipment in power plants, industrial plants, switchcraft, electrical locomotives, and others. Number five, so provisions of manufacturer and repair of electrical equipment, including switchboard, transformer, generators, motor, apparatus, and other teaching of electrical engineering profession subject and number seven, taking charge of the cell and distributions of electrical equipment and system requiring engineering calculations or applications of engineering data. B, electrical supply equipment is any equipment which produces, modifies, regulates, or controls the supply of electric energy. C, electric plant is an establishment or a system for the productions of modifications of electrical energy. D, power plant design refers to planning specifying, coordinating, layouting of electrical equipment in power plant, substation, and the like. Substation is any building room or separate place where houses or enclosed electric supply equipment connected to transmission or distribution lines and the interior of which is accessible as a rule in to the properly qualified person. Electrical system design refers to the choice of electrical system including planning and detailing of requirements for protection, control, monitoring, coordinations, and interlocking of electrical system, among others. Voltage is the highest effective potential difference between any two conductor of the circuit concern expressed in volt. KVA refers to the installed capacity of an alternating current EC, electric, electric plant or supply equipment, or the connected load of industrial plant, commercial, Establishment Institutional Building Express in Kilovolt Ampere. PW refers to the installed capacity of the direct current DC electric plant on board watercraft express in kilowatt. Utilizing equipment refers to energy consumption equipment including motors, heaters, furnaces, furnaces, light sources, and other devices which utilize electric energy for any purposes. Industrial plant or factory refers to manufacturing assembly, plant including engineering shops, shipyards, or other business endeavor where electrical machinery and equipment are installed. Commercial establishment are department stores, supermarkets, shopping malls, offices, building, hotels, theaters, stadium, condominium, convention centers, restaurant, and the like use in business or profit. Institutional building are school building, hospitals, museum, display centers, government building, and the like. Watercraft is an outwater waterborne unit which is designed and built to have an electric plant. Electric locomotive refers to the power plant mountain, mounted on the wheel as used in railroad transportation industry. Article 2, Board of Electrical Engineering, Section 3, Compositions of Board. The Board of Electrical Engineering hereinafter referred as a board shall be created as a collegial body under the general supervisions and administrative control of the Professional Regulation Commission hereafter called the commission composed of chairman and two members to be appointed as a president of the Philippines from among the recommendees of the commissioner of the Professional Regulatory Commission hereafter referred to the commissioner who were chosen 
from the nominees of the integrated and accredited associations of electrical engineer and other registered association of electrical engineer and allied field. Section 4. Power and duties of the board. The board shall exercise executive, administrative, or quasi-legislative rule-making or quasi-judicial investigative powers and carry out the provisions of this act. It shall be vested with the following specific powers, function, duties, and responsibilities. Supervise and regulate the practice of electrical engineering in the Philippines. B. Determine the evaluate the qualifications of the applicant for registrations with, without license, examination, and for a special permit. C. Prepare the examination question in accordance with the Section 19 hereof or modification hereof prescribe the syllabi of the subject and the relative weight of the licensure examination, formulate a adapt test question and deposit them in the test question bank, draw the test questions at random through process of computerization, conduct the examination, correct and rate the examination paper manually or through process of computerization and submit the examination result to the Provisional Regulatory Commission PRC within the period of provided by the rules of the Commission. D. Prescribe, um, amend, or revise the requirements of professional electrical engineer and subject to the licensure examination for registered electrical engineer and registered master electrician and the relative weight subject for the approval of commission. Let's say register successful applicant for professional electrical engineer and applicant who have passed the licensure examination for registered electrical engineer or registered master electrician and issue and corresponding certificate of registration and professional license. Issue a special permit to individual foreign electrical engineer and electrician for a specific project and for the specific duration of time. Look into the condition affecting the practice of electrical engineering profession, adapt, measure for the enhancement of the professions of the maintenance of high professional technical and ethical standard and conduct uh, ocular inspections of the place where re registrant practice their profession such as but not limited to electrical plants, substation, industrial plants or factories, commercial establishment, institutional buildings, watercraft, electrical locomotives, engineering office, repair shops, and similar place to determine the enforced compliance with this act. The board shall authorize the duty integrated and accredited electrical engineering association and other registered electrical engineering association to render assistance in this function. H. Promulgate rules and regulation including the codes of ethics, administrative policies, order, and issuance to carry out the provisions of this act. Investigate violates of the act and the rules of regulation code of ethics, administrative policies, order, and issuance promulgated by the board. The rules on administrative investigation promulgated by the commission shall govern in such investigation. Issue some pena or some pena juices to come to secure the attendance of respondent or witness or the productions of documents and its relatives to the investigation conducted by the board. Delegate the investigate of the case of chairman or member of the board or the professional regulatory commission attorney, PRC attorney, if the case concern is strictly and practice of the professional of the investigation shall prece preceded by the chairman or member of the board with the issuance of the PRC attorney. Letter H, render decision order or resolutions on preliminary, preliminary investigation or injury undocumented cases and on docketed administrative case against examined or registrant which shall become final and executory unless appealed with the commission within the 15 days from a receipt from the copy thereof. The decisions of the commission may be appealed to the court of appeal in accordance with the procedure provided by the rule of the court. M. After due notice of hearing, counsel examination papers and a bar of examinees from the future examination, refuse or defer his registration, reprimand the registrants with a stream warning suspended him from the practice of his profession, revoked his certificate of registration, delist his name for the rule of official electrical engineer, registered electrical engineer and registered master electrician for continuous non-payment of annual registration fees and non-compliance with the continuous profession education. 
CPA requirements, reinstate or re-enroll his name to said rule. Reissuance of return of certificate of registration, a decision of suspension, revo revocation of the certificate of registration or the listing from the rule by the board as provided herein may be appealed initially to the commission within 15 days of receipt thereof. The decisions of the commission may be appealed to the court of appeal in accordance with the procedure provided in the rule of the court. Administer oath in connections with the administration implement or reinforce of this act. Submit an annual report to the proceeding accomplished during the year of the recommendations of the board to the commission after the close of its fiscal year. Pre prosecute or institute criminal action against any violator of the act and or rules of regulations of the board. Adopt an official seal. Coordinate with the commissions and Department of Education, Culture and Sport Dex in prescribing, amending, the revising the courses. Prescribe guidelines and criteria on the CPA program for the professional electrical engineer, registered electrical engineer, and registered master electrician, and review their profession license after compliance with the CPA requirements. Perform such as functions and duties as may be necessary to implement effective and act. The policies, resolution, rules, or regulation order or decision issued or promulgated by the board shall be subject to the review and approval of the commission. However, the board decision, resolution, or order which are not in interlocutory rendered in administrative case shall be subject to review only if on appeal. Section 5. Qualifications of board member. Each board member must, at the time of his appointment, be a natural born citizen and resident of the Philippines for at least five consecutive years, be at least 35 years old age of proven integrity with high moral values of his personal as well as his professional conduct, be a person with no final conviction by the court of an offense involving moral turpitude, be a holder of degree in Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering BSE from the University School College Academy or Institutional Duty constitute recognized by accredited of the Philippine government, be a professional electrical engineer with a valid certificate of registration and a valid professional license duly qualified to practice electrical engineering of the Philippines. Have a practice electrical engineering for the free of not less than 10 years prior to his appointment with the sworn statement such as and not be an official nor a member of the faculty nor have a precautionary interest in any university college school or an institution conferring a bachelor degree in engineering for at least three years prior to his appointment and is not connected with a review center or with any group of association where review classes or lecture in preparations of the lecturer examination are offered or conducted at the time of his appointment. Section 6 Terms of Office The member of the board shall hold office for the term of three years from the date of appointment or until their successor has been appointed and qualified. They may, however, be reappointed for the second term. Each member shall qualify by taking an oath of the office before entering upon the performance of his duties. Vacancies in the board shall be filled by the president from list recommendees by the commissioner who were chosen from the list of nominees submitted by the integrated and accredited associations for the unexpired only term only. Section 7. Removal of the board member. Any member of the board may be removed by the President of the Philippines upon the recommendations of commissioner for neglect of duty, incompetence, malpractice, commission, or tolerance of irregularities in the examination, or for unprofessional, unethical, or dishonorable conduct after having been given opportunity to defend himself in the proper administrative investigation. Section 8. Compensations of Chairman and the Board Member The Chairman and the Member of the Board shall receive monthly compensation no less than 12,000 pesos, provided that the Chairman shall receive a monthly compensation of 10% more provided further that such compensation shall be increased or modified pursuant to GERP appropriate act year provided furthermore that the key shall receive their benefits that may be provided by law. Section 9. Executive Officers of the Board The Commissioner shall be the Executive Officer of the Board and shall conduct the examination given by the Board and shall designate 
in a subordinate office of commission to act as a secretary or custodian of all record including all examination papers and minutes of the delib deliberations of the board. Article 3, Examination and Registration. Section 10, Examination Required. All part applicants for registration for the practice of electrical engineering in the Philippines shall be required to pass a technical examination as hereafter provided except as otherwise specifically allowed under the AS this Act. Section 11, Registrations and License Required. A valid certificate of registration and a valid professional license from the commissions are required before any person is allowed to practice electrical engineering in the Philippines except as otherwise allowed under this Act. Section 12, Examination Fees. All applicants for oral examination for professional electrical engineer and writing examination for registered electrical engineer and registered master electrician shall be subject to payment or fees prescribed by the commission provided that 90% of the fees is to be treated as a special fund for the program, project, and activities of the commissions. And the remaining 10% shall be set aside of the trust fund for the establishment and maintenance of the center for continuing education and research. Section 13, Registration Fee, License Fee, and Fines. All applicants for registration and license are pra to practice as proficient electrical engineer and registered master electrician shall be subject to the payment of registration. Fees, license fees, and fines in case of violations of the per pertinent rules and regulation for the amount prescribed by the board and approved by the commission provided that 50% from these collections are to be treated as a special fund for the programs, project activities of the Commission and the other 50% shall be set up separately special fund for the supervisory and regulatory functions of the Board. Section 14, Exemption from Examinations and Registration. An examination or registration shall not be required for the foreign electrical engineer, erection, commissioning, Guarantee engineers employed as a technical consultant by the Philippine government or by private firm for which of the pertinent provision society certifies that no qualified Filipino professional is available or for the foreign electrical installer for the erections or installations of the special project or for any other specialized work subject for the following condition that the above mentioned foreign professional are legally qualified to practice their profession in their own country in which the requirements and qualifications of, for obtaining a license or certificate of registration are not lower than those specified in this Act. To this, that the scope of work to be performed by said foreign professionals shall be limited only to the particular works for which they were contracted. Number three, that prior the commencing work, the foreign professional shall be secured a special permit from the Commission. Number four, that said foreign professional shall not engage in private practice on their own account. Number five, that for every foreign professional contracted pursuant to this section, one Filipino under study who is registered under the provisions of this act shall be employed by the private firm utilizing the service of such foreign professional for at least the durations of the alien experts tenure with said firm. And number six, that the exemptions herein granted shall be good only for six months, renewable for another six months, and the discretions of the board provided that in case of foreign professional cease to be employed in accordance with this section and engage in occupation requiring registrations of the engineers as profession must be registered under the provisions of this act. No registration with the board shall be required for the following. One, engineering student apprentice and other person employed or acting as subordinates of or undergoing training under the person holding a valid certificate of registration and a valid professional license under this act. Number two, person in charge of our supervising operation pending a maintenance of an electric generating set of the private use employing voltage at exceeding 250 volts and capacity not exceeding 50 kilovolts provided that the owner or operator shall be required to have their electric generating set periodically inspected at an interval of not more than one year by the professional electrical engineer, a registered electrical engineer, or a national, city, provincial, or municipal government authority exercising legal jurisdiction over the electrical 
installation. Section 15, holding of examination. Examinations of the practice of electrical engineering in the Philippines should be given twice a year in the city of Manila and other places on dates that the board may recommend it for determinations of the scheduling. The board shall be scheduled interview oral examination of every applicant for registrations as professional electrical engineer only at the Office of Commission. The qualified applicants for examination notice of admission shall be issued no later than 10 days prior to the first day of examination. <clears throat> for registrations and professional electrical engineers shall establish to the satisfaction of the board that on, on or before the date of registration, he possesses the following qualification. 1. He is a citizen of the Philippines. He is good reputations with high moral value. He has not been finally convicted by the court of offense involving moral turpitude. He is a holder of degree of Bachelor of Science Electrical Engineer BCE from University of School College Academy or Institute Jolie Constituent recognized and accredited by the Philippine government and he is registered electrical engineer with valid certificate of registration and professional license and with four year or more active practice reckoned from date of registrations as a registered electrical engineer. Section 17 Qualifications of Applicant for Registered Electrical Engineer Examination any person applying for the admissions to the registered electrical engineer examination as herein provided shall be established to the satisfaction of the board that on the before the date of examination he possesses the following qualification. He is a citizen of the Philippines. He is at least 21 years old age. He is good reputations with high moral value. He has not been finally convicted by the court of an offense involving more, uh, moral Turpitude, and he is a holder of degree of Bachelor of Science Electrical Engineering for the University of the Philippine College Academy Institute, duly constituted, recognized, and accredited by the Philippine government. Section 18 Qualifications of Applicant for Registered Master Electrician Examination. Any person applying for admissions of Registered Master Electrician Examination herein provided shall establish the satisfaction of the board that before the examination he possesses the following qualification. He is a citizen of the Philippines. He is 18 years old age. He is good reputation with high moral value. He has not been finally convicted by the court of offense involving moral turpitude and he has any of the following technical background. Has completed at least three years of, of a five-year Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering BSA program or the three-year course of Electrical Engineering Technology from the engineering school recognized by the Philippine government. And in addition, he is subsequent specific required one-year practice electrical wiring and installation, operation and maintenance of utilization, devices, and equipment. Number two, has graduated from two-year electrician's course of instruction from vocational or trade school recognized by the Philippine government, and in addition, has at least two years of apprentices after completions of the course of instruction, electrical installation, operation, and maintenance of utilization device or equipment has completed one year electrician course or of instruction from the vocational school recognized by the Philippine government in addition has a three year apprentice after completion of the course of instruction on electrical installation operation maintenance of utilization device and equipment or has completed four year high school education it's equivalent and in addition has subsequently specific record at least five years of apprentice in the electrical wiring installation operation maintenance of utilization device and equipment Section 19 is scope of examination. As a prerequisite of registrations as professional electrical engineer, registered electrical engineer, and registered master electrician, the applicant shall comply with the following requirements. Letter A, professional electrical engineer. For the purpose of confirming the service record and clarify the technical report submitted by the applicant for registration as professional electrical engineer on oral examination or interview shall be conducted on the following documents to be submitted to the board certified experience record from the date applicant took out as a research electrical engineer indicating the inclusive dates company's work for descriptions of specific responsibilities significant accomplished as well as the name of position of immediate supervisor number two technical paper covering the evaluations of analysis i study or critical discussions as electrical engineering project or subject to one several technical aspects such as design, construction, installation, commissioning, testing, operation, maintenance, repair, resource, and the like. The technical paper shall be supported by engineering principles and data, published or unpublished scientific paper, or thesis, treatise on electrical engineering theories and application 
may be considered as a complying with the requirements. 3. Certification assigned of three professional electrical engineer to be effect that the experience record submitted by the applicant is factual and the technical paper submitted was actually prepared by the applicant. The applicant must obtain passing mark on the experience record and on technical report in order to qualify for registration as a professional electrical engineer. B. Registered electrical engineer. The applicant should be as a writing examination on different subject or group of subject as follow. 1. Mathematics such as algebra, trigonometry, analytic, geometry, differential calculus, integral calculus, differential equation, complex number, probability, and statistics, advanced engineering mathematics, including matrix, power series, Fourier analysis, Laplace transformer, and other. The weight is 25%. Engineering science and allied subjects such as general chemistry, college physics, computer fundamental and programming, engineering materials, engineering mechanics, fluid mechanics, strength of materials, thermodynamics, electrical engineering law, engineering economics, engineering management, contract and specification, code of professional ethics, Philippine electrical code, part 1, part 2, and other. The weight is 30%. Electrical engineering professional subjects such as electrical circuit, electronic theory and circuit energy conversion, power transmission distribution, instrumentation and measurement circuit, and line protection control system, principles and communication, electrical machine, electrical equipment, components and devices, electrical system, power plant, electronic power equipment, illumination, building wiring, and other. The weight is 45%. The passing general weight average rating shall be 70% with no grade below 50%. Any group or subject listed above the examination questions so the ongoing subject shall cover only basic theories and principles and shall exclude questions based on experience and trade practice. The number of questions shall be such the examination shall be finished on three consecutive eight hours a day. Registered master electrician, the applicant, shall pass a writing examination on different subject or group of subject as follow. Technical subject. Ohm's law calculation for resistance, current voltage, and power for direct current and alternating current circuit. Electrical machine descriptions and operating principles of motor generators and transformers. Control equipment descriptions and functions of uses, overload relay, safety switches, magnetic switches, circuit breaker, star delta motor starter, transformer type motor starter, DC motor starter. Electrical components in descriptions of resistors capacitors, indicators, and semiconductors, maintenance and repair, descriptions of the procedures and maintenance of electrical machinery, test equipment, types and fuses, measuring instrument, electrical engineering law, provision pertaining to the registered master electrician, other related subject as may be prescribed by the board. Two Philippine Code Part 1 and 2, general requirements for installations of electric wiring and equipment, Approved wiring method, types of wiring materials and wiring device, installation of switchboard and panel board, installations of hazardous location, wiring diagram of different types of motor starter with motor protection, drawing symbols and wiring plants are the relative subject as may be prescribed by the board. The number of test questions shall be such that the examination can be finished in one eight hours a day. The relative weight shall be 50% for technical subject and 50% for the Philippine Electrical Code. The passing general average rating shall be 70% with no grade below 50% of any subject. Section 20, Report of Rating. The Board of Electrical Engineers shall write in 150 days after the date of completion of examination report the rating obtained by each candidate to the Commission. Re-examinations of failed subject and applicant shall allow to retake any number of times only in the subject in which has obtained a grade below 50%, which he shall obtain an average grade of 70%. In the subject repeated, he shall be considered to have passed the li his licensure examination. Section 22 Oath All successful candidates in the examination shall be required to take a professional oath before the board or any government official authorized by the administer oath prior to entering upon the practice of professional electrical engineer, registered electrical engineer, and registered master electrician. Section 23, issuance of certificate of registration and professional licenses. 
the registered of the professional electrical engineer, registered electrical engineer, or registered master electrician commences from the date of his name is entered in the role of registrant or license for his profession. Every registrant who has satisfactorily met all the requirements specified in this act upon payment of the registration fee shall be issued a certificate of registration as a professional electrical engineer, a registered electrical engineer, or a registered master electrician that show the full name and registrant with the serial number signed by the commissioner and the chairman of the member of the board stamp with the official seal as evidence that the person name wherein is entitled to practice the professional with the rights to the privilege appurtenant thereto. The certificate shall remain a full force and effect until withdrawn, suspended, or revoked in accordance with law. A professional license signed by the commissioner and bearing the registration number and the date of issuance thereof, and bearing the registration number and date of issuance thereof, and the month of expiry or renewability shall be likewise be issued to every registrant who has paid the annual registration fee for three consecutive years and has complied with the requirements of the Continuing Professional Education CPA unless exempted therefrom the license will serve as evidence that the license can lawfully practice his profession until the expiration of its validity. Section 24 Continuing Profession Education Program The CPA guidelines shall be prescribed and promulgated by the board subject by the approval of commission after consultations with the integrated and accredited electrical engineering association, other associations of electrical engineering profession, and other concerned sectors the board shall incorporate in the said guidelines and creations of CPA Council that shall be composed of offer coming from the board of the profession and integrated and accredited electrical associations and other concerned sectors. It shall be vested with the functions of duties and responsibilities to implement the guidelines and shall have a juridical personality and is distinct and separate from the independent of the board of commission the Integrated and Accredited Electrical Engineering Association and other associations of the Electrical Engineering Profession. Section 25, Integrated of Electrical Engineering Profession. The Electrical Engineering Profession shall be integrated into one national organization which shall be recognized by the board as one and only integrated and accredited associations of professional electrical engineer, registered electrical engineer, and registered master technician. Every professional electrical engineer, registered electrical engineer, and registered master electrician upon registrations of the board, as shall ipso facto become the member of integrated national organization. Those who have been registered with the board but are not member of the said organization and the time of the active. effectivity of this act shall be fall allowed to register a member of said integrated organization within three years after the effective of this act. Membership of the integrated organization shall not be barred to membership in their association of the electrical engineering profession. The professional electrical engineer, registered electrical engineer, and registered master electrician shall receive the benefits and privileges is uh, pertinent to this listed membership in the duly integrated and accredited electrical engineering association only upon payment of the required membership fee and duty and dues. Section 26, Sale of Professional Electrical Engineer. All licensed professional en electrical engineer may obtain a sale of the design prescribed by the Board of Bearing, the registrant name, the certificate number, and the legend professional electrical engineer plans, specification report, and other professional documents prepared by the executive under the immediate supervisions of the issued by the license shall be stamped in every suite. With, three, with said sale, when failed with the government authorities, or when submitted or used professionally, provided, however, that it is unlawful for anyone to stamp or seal any document with said seal after the registrant name has been delisted from the roster of the professional electrical engineer, or after the validity of his professional license has expired, the registrant shall be allowed again to use his seal or stamp the document he prepared, sign or issue only after he is reinstated to the practice of his professional and reissued a new professional license. Section 27, Indications of Registration Professional License Number The professional electrical engineer, registered electrical engineer, and registered master electrician shall be required to indicate his registration professional license number 
the date of registered and the date of its expiry in the documents he signed use as uses and connections with the practice of his profession. Section 28. Refusal to issue certificate. The Board of Electrical Engineers shall not issue a certificate of registration to any person convicted by the court of any criminal offense involving moral perpetuity or to any person guilty of immoral or dishonorable conduct to any person unsound mind in the event of refusal to issue a certificate for any reason the board shall give the application a writing statement setting for the reason for such action which statement shall be incorporated in the record of the board after no less than a year from the finality of the board decision the board out of equity and justice may be recommended to the commissions of issuance to the certificate of registration to the applicant section 29 revocations of certificate of registration and suspensions from the practice of the profession the board shall have a power upon the proper notice of hearing to revoke any certificate of registrations to any registrant to suspend him from the practice of his profession or to reprimand him for any cost specified in the preceding section or the use of perpetration or any fraud or deceit in obtaining a certificate of registration or for a gross negligence or incompetence for the unprofessional or dishonorable conduct for a violation in this act, the rule and regulations and other policies of the board and the code of official ethics. It shall be sufficient ground for the revocations for the certificate issued from the person under the act and his suspension from the practice of his profession for unprofessional or dishonorable conduct if being a professional electrical engineer has he has signed and affix his seal on any plan design technical reports valuation estimates specification, other similar documents or work not prepared by him or not executed under his immediate supervisor he has represented himself if as having taken charge of his supervise in electrical construction or installation operation trending and maintenance of an electrical plant, manufacturing or repair of electrical equipment, teaching of electrical engineering subject sales or distributed of any electrical supply or utilization, utilization equipment requiring engineering calculations or applications of electrical engineering principles and data without actually having done so. The decisions of the board shall be finally and Secretary, unless it is appeared by the respondents of the commission within 15 days from the receipt of such decision, the board is commission decision is appealable by the respondents of the Court of Appeal. In addition, with the procedure provided under the rules of the court, any person, firm, association, or corporation may file charges in accordance with the provisions of this section against any license or the board may on its own initiative motto propio investigate and take recognizance act and practice constituting cause of suspension or revocation of the certificate of registration by the proper resolution or in order such changes shall be in writing and shall be sworn by the person making them and shall be filed with the board the rules and regulations of the commission on administrative investigation shall govern the procedure and conduct of administrative investigation before the board. The respondent shall have the right to speedy the public hearing and to confront and cross-examine witness against him. Section 30. Reissuance of revoked certificate and replacement of the lost Subject for the approval of the Commission, the Board may, after the expiration of one year from the date of revocation of certificate, for the reason it may deem sufficient, entertain application for the new certificate in the same manner as application for an original one. It may exempt the applicant from necessary to undergoing examination a new certificate of registration to replace any certificate that has been lost, destroyed, or multi mutilated may be issued subject to the rules of the Board. Article 4, Sandray provision relative to the practice of electrical engineering. 
Section 31, Field of Practice. The field of practice of professional electrical engineer, registered electrical engineer, and registered master electrician shall be as follow. A. A professional electrical engineer field of practice includes the sole authority to sell electrical plans, etc. and to practice electrical engineering and its full scope as defined in this act. B. A registered electrical engineer field of practice includes charges or supervision of operation and maintenance of electrical equipment in power plant, industrial plant, watercraft, electrical locomotive, and other manufacturing and repair of electrical supply and utilization equipment including switchboard, power transformer, generator motors, apparatus, and other teaching of electrical subject and sale of distributed of electrical equipment and system requiring engineering calculations or applications of engineering data and a registered master electrician, electrician field of practice include the installation, wiring, operation, maintenance, and repair of electrical machinery, equipment, and devices in residential, commercial institution, commercial, and industrial building in power plant, substation, watercraft, electrical locomotives, and the like provided that if the installation of machinery is rated to exceed 500 kilovolts of MRI QVA or less or in excess of 600 volts, the work shall under the supervisions of professional electrical engineer or a registered electrical engineer. Prohibition and practice of electrical engineering. No person shall a, a practice or offer the practice electrical engineer in the Philippines without having previously obtained a certificate of registration and a professional license from the Board of Electrical Engineer except as provided for the Section 14 hereof. B. Use an attempt to use his own certificate or registration professional license or the seal of another. Give false force evidence to any kinds of board or to any member thereof in obtaining certificate of registration or professional license. False, falsely impersonate any registrant of like or different name, attempt to use a revoke or suspended certificate of registration or an expired professional license used in connection with the name otherwise assume used to advertise a titles or description trending to convey the impression that he is a professional electrical engineer, registered electrical engineer or registered master electrician without holding the valid certificate or a valid license and sign a document involving electrical design, plan, technical specification, valuation, and the like on behalf of professional electrical engineer. Section 33, personal required. Personal required, except as otherwise provided as an act, every electrical plant, industrial plant, or factory, commercial establishment, institutional building, watercraft, electrical locomotives, or any other installation where a person and property is exposed to electrical hazard shall not have less than following completions of professional electrical engineer, registered electrical engineer, and registered electrical engineer, and registered master electrician. Electric plant with total installed generating capacity of any size of employing voltage of any standard rating, one professional electrical engineer or one registered master, one registered electrical engineer, however, for the capacities of the 500 kilovolt and employing voltage up to 600 volts, one registered master electrician. D. Industrial plant or factory, commercial establishment, or institutional building having a connected KV load to any size of employing voltage of any standard rating, one professional electrical engineer, or one registered electrical engineer. However, for connected loads up to 500 KV and employing voltage up to 600 volts, one registered master electrician. Watercraft of electrical locomotives with installed generating capacity after the maximum size of the voltage available for this one professional electrical engineer, one registered electrical engineer. However, for generating capacity, capacities up to 500 kilovolts, KBA or kilowatts, the employing voltage up to 600 volts, one registered master electrician. Provided, however, that all the affirm, aforementioned cases Additional qualified personnel shall be employed to ensure safe operation and safeguard public welfare, life, and property, provided further that when the operation requires more than one shift of personnel every 24 hours, the minimum completions of, of qualified personnel shall be employed in each shift. This section, however, shall not apply to any installation which has a connected load of 50 kilovolt ampere, 50 kBA or less, 
an employed voltage not more than 250 volts and for the installation which are designed to be automatic and do not require resident personnel for their safe operation provided however that the maintenance and repair shall be under the charge of duly registered personnel provided further that the year yearly inspection will be conducted and certified to be the safe operation condition by the professional electrical engineer a registered electrical engineer or registered master electrician section 34 preparations of plans supervision of installation application of the philippine electrical code it shall be unlawful for any person not authorized under this act to prepare plans electrical evaluation or a specification for any electrical wiring equipment or system and no installation thereof shall be undertaken unless the plans design evaluation and specification has been prepared by under the responsible charge of a design and sealed by the professional electrical engineer and a construction permit for the execution thereof first secured and unless the work is done in accordance with the Philippine electrical code and is executed under the responsible charge of supervision of the professional electrical engineer, a registered electrical engineer or registered master electrician as the case and be the rotationally fiscal and ministerial requirements of the government agency. If any exercising jurisdiction over the particular installation has been compiled with section 35, Section 35, practice not allowed for firm and corporation. The practice of electrical engineering is a profession service administration to which a base of individual and personal qualification. Hence, no firm or corporation may be registered or licensed as such for the practice of electrical engineering. However, person properly qualified and licensed as a professional electrical engineer may among themselves form a partnership of association and collectively render electrical engineering service individual member of such partnership or association shall be responsible for their own respective act. Section 36, posting a certificate. Posting a certificate, the owner, manager, or the person in charge of electrical plant, industrial plant, or factory, commercial establishment, institutional building, watercraft, or electrical locomotive shall post a cost to be posted a conspicuous place with the such plants or establishment the certificate of registrations of the engineer or electricians employed in such plant or establishment in frame protected by the transparent glass or equivalent section 37 certificate of specialty certificate of specialty shall be issued by the board subject to the approval of the commission to a professional electrical engineer who has been screened and recommended by the integrated and accredited electrical engineering association these are for a specific field in which the applicant have specialized knowledge training and exercise experience has been demonstrated their competence and expertise the board shall be subject to approval of the commission after the consultations of the said association prescribe an issue the necessary guidelines for the issue issuance of this certificate section 38 foreign reciproc reciprocity no foreign engineer shall be admitted to take board examination be given a certificate of registration or be entitled to any of the rights and privileges under this act unless the country for which he is subject or citizen is specifically permit Filipino engineer to practice within its territorial limits on the same basis as a subject or citizen of such country section 39 enforcement of the act by the officer of the law it shall be the duty of all constituent officers of the law of the national government to any provincial city or municipal government or any political subdivision thereof the prosecute any person violating the provision of this act. The Secretary of Justice of his assistant shall act as a legal advisor of the board and render such legal assistance as may be necessary to carry out provision of this act. Section 40. Penalty Clause any person who shall violate any provisions of this act shall be guilty of mis misdemeanor and shall upon conviction be sentenced and fine not less than 10,000 pesos, no more than 50,000 pesos, or imprisonment for the period not less than 6 months, nor more than 5 years, or about the discretions of the court.